Welcome back, guys, to Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, the Golden Country, where last episode, Malus awoke the Tornan Titan, turning it into the weapon he used to be in the past, as we entered inside it to now give chase. However, finding more stuff along the way related to community building and the defeat of our final UM, we opened up the way to a nope on the half sage. But after this little dalliance, the final battle is soon to be at hand. I even used my items at the end of Octopath Traveler, you know, that I've been hoarding. I'm a good boy. Now me to point you in the direction of the legendary golden monsters. They are most special bleeder monster. Very proud, terribly fierce, unspeakably strong. For not so small payment, I might be willing to tell you where these legendary beasts can be found. Since you are strong enough to break my seal, you must be brave heroes who would relish a legendary battle, yes? Well, what do you say? Well, we'll buy the last one. Oh yeah, there is a cell there. Whoops. Ha ha ha. Alright, we bought them all. Can you join us now, please? I hate you. Before you join me after I bought all the stuff! Don't tell me I've got to defeat all these monsters too. What a pleasant stroll. Right, where shall we head to next? Well, these sound like the best <gasps> category of super bosses. I really could just step on him, yeah, you're right. That would work. Damn you blocking my gains! Well, these must be super boss types, honestly. So... Let's ignore them and continue on with the actual story. I think that's the thing people want me to say, right? Why wouldn't you have to beat the monsters? I just hope that after you got the money, he could rebuild his seal and join my community and be happy. That's his goal. He doesn't want me to beat the monsters. He just wants the money. Oh, well. Well, we bought all those things. We had just barely enough money. At least we can get more money with our special weapons. So technically I didn't need to sell the stuff yet and I could have done it later. Whoops. Whoops. Oh well. We made it. Good stuff. Well, there's two different anti-bodies at the Skyguard entrance. Skyguard. Yeah, that's the name. Skyguard. Our super powerful blades are ready to beat up exactly no one as we continue exploring. Unless you can't buy friendship. For, for what it amounts to around 1.5 million, I expect friendship. Better be my friend. Right, well, there's one stone for that door over there. There's that area up there, too. The weird internal noises have stopped. And now they begin again. The Hermit's Alleyway we found. Where is this taking us? Excuse me, Parasax. I'm just taking this. You're coming with me, treasure. Ooh. Well, now. Ah! Would you look at that? Stop where you are. I have to write about this in my. We found a secret area, and a level 100 guy just flew at me. Oh, Pentacle Stargazing, you say? Hurricane East can be found there, you say? Oh, okay. Is there any treasure chests here? You're okay. coming with me, treasure. <laughs> run! Get the treasure and run! There's another treasure chest! Run! Where is it? Where's the big bird? Alright, well, I'm going to have to do some level grinding. <laughs> go, 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 The suspense is killing me. Oh, we got polygon chip. Run, 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 run. Let me know polygon chip might be better. It'd be funny if it was, and it? It's basically made my other, like, chips rubbish. Alright, cube chip, polygon chip. No, they're nowhere near as good. But they might be better for other people, you never know. Nope. So I feel content with my selling. Right, level 100 guy. Uh, we'll be back for you because the way Xenoblade works, of course, is that you don't fight higher level enemies because you give massive penalties to the player, which sucks.
Even more sucks when you got to fight the 100 level 103. You know, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 made that easier, but still thinking about the Xenoblade Chronicles 1 times. <laughs> Having to have specific gear setups to fight things due to accuracy issues. Alright, well, let's break this antibody core. Spoiling for a fight. Happy to oblige. Yeah. Are you ready to go, Jim? Like As we really get into this. Yeah. Wait, with a beta scope, I failed the break. No, I haven't got the break, yeah, boy. I'm kind of expecting Jin to just be able to take this guy out. Oh, yeah. Jin doesn't stand any problem whatsoever of taking these guys out. Look at the damage he does. Alright, well, best to get Hayes in to continue. Oh, are you something? I boosted stats. That's what I want to do. More level 2 specials, please. Oh, the spike damage just came in on some of them. Pretty nasty. It's only Hayes that has to do level 2 now, isn't it? Oh, that's a topple. Oh, right, so we've all started on this guy, have we? Go on, get get a launch on that guy. Get a topple. Get a topple, come on. Now, it can only happen, I think, with uh, a certain someone else. I really wanted to get a topple because we need to get Hayes to hit some smashes to level up her blade chart even further. To be honest, we're probably not going to make that one. That one's a bit of a harder target to reach in the first place. Alright, another one down. Get the break. Now you're going to go for the topple. Now you're going to go for the topple, Hugo. Whatever. Right, Mifra is up to S3 from just doing the fight yet again, so her attack damage has got even higher now. So we've got two attack blades maxed out. That's great. I still would like these guys maxed out, so I've just got to use chain attacks. Because if the tanks are maxed out too, and they're able to get the extra power from that, it means Hugo will just hold aggro better, keep aggro, do what he does better. And that's basically what we need, isn't it? So behind the golden veil over there will be our blue veil, most likely. The fastest way there is just to fast travel over that little bit of a gap. Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. The actual forward part of the game actually had a lot more to it than I would have thought. Well, there's the blue stone. It looks like you fall there to get a treasure chest. Yeah. Well, blue stone. Uh -oh. Bring your enemies. Does she even use spinning wheel? Did they cancel it somehow? It doesn't look like it happened to be fair. It doesn't look like anyone can do the stuff they want to do. Well, let's continue working on Hayes' specials. Lots of small guys at the moment, though. Pressing the buttons at the right time means that even Hayes can do some nice tasty damage. Oh, here we go. Got some more interesting ads now. Great 
No, blow down means you're not going to do anything. I'm going to go get that weapon over there. Oh, you're a light chip. I'll use eye patch. There's got to be another group after this, right? Oh, bigger ones. I don't mind you drawing the aggro, though, to be honest. Oh, I used my special instead. That was an accident. Seems I'm getting a nice bit of bonus damage, hopefully. Oh, not enough to get our next special out there. Tiny massive experience, though. Why are you trying to defeat Malos? Just lure the hundred bird. <laughs> that makes too much sense. You can't be making sense. Alright, still level 45 fishy fishies flying around. Never quite sure to qualify as flying or swimming. And into the sky gate, the endless road. Well, the music yet again cuts out. Better not be an endless... I've seen this corridor in Mario 64. I'm not staying on these obvious trap doors. You can't call this I the endless road. Broke. I'm oh. getting some use out of these. Perhaps I'll have another. Perhaps I'll have another. At least they tell you if it broke or not. Well, that looks like a place to fight someone. And our pouch item just broke as we walked in. Not exactly the best timing. Alright, everyone's full up on pouch items again. Here we go then. This looks like a confrontational area if anywhere is going to look like a confrontational area, doesn't it? Actually, the area's behind us now. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't seem so bad. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. Look, look. The, the sky. Uh, the ominousness. -ness. And the area of our final confrontation. Here we go. Master's close. I can sense him. So this is it then. The final battle. What should we do? We may never get another chance like this. Yeah. If you go any further, there will be no turning back. Falling in battle will mean restarting from the title screen. Time for a full proper game over, eh? We're here. Your game will be saved before the final battle begins. So technically, if it isn't the community barricades, this game actually has very little story from when you reach your rescue onwards. Well, it's time to go. It's time to fight. I think everyone's ready. We've got pouch items on. We have... Blade I blades equipped with new things. We, we may not have everyone up to super affinity chart levels, but Jin is, Mithra is. I think we're probably going to be over leveled, maybe a little bit. But then we have put in the work to get everything mostly done in this game. The final battle is now. All right then. I too think it's time for us to make a stand. I think only of the battle, Majesty. Bridget and I are here to protect you to the end. Indeed, we, the jewels of Mo'ardain, are sworn to serve you. For now and forever. Bridget, Ajion, I trust you with my life. I'll write off this battle in my journal. It'll be a story for the ages. Yeah, with the power weak, man, there's absolutely no way we can lose. Who needs monster eh, ages? <laughs> Though I suppose you all people probably don't, come to think of it. Doesn't need any modesty, does she? Miles and I may be evenly matched, but with all of you by my side, it tips the balance. He's got no one but himself to rely on, and that's why he's going down. Mithra. You've really changed. Oh, yeah, you think? Wonders who's to blame for that. You drivers must really rub off on people. It's not just that. Hell, if that were the case, I'd be some kind of street preacher by now. When you put it that way, I can't help feeling just the slightest twinge of pity for our deal, Quaster. I'm sorry, but I must sympathize with Minoff. I couldn't imagine having to be the blade of such a horrid man. It's true. The rest of us are lucky to have such caring drivers, like Laura. I'll have you know. We're just as lucky to have such loyal companions by our side, Jin. I couldn't have put it better. Thank you, Jin. Thank you, everyone. 
Right, let's knock Manus off his high horse and then get ourselves out of here. Back to the boys. You got here fast. I thought you'd jump ship with the rest of the rats. Tornans are braver than you think, Malos. Nobody here is scared of you. <laughs> Look! Yes, I can see it. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes before my gargoyles overrun the core entirely. If you can take me down, that means you win. If you can't... Well, end of story. Aren't you smug? We were born into the stinking world. Might as well have some fun. Life or death? Not much of a choice. But you gotta choose. Partner, you can't have robots on your side, too, man. Heads up, people. I, I will not tolerate There's faith. some big robots. I feel like we should kill the robots first. My thanks. Come on. All right, let's kill this guy. It shouldn't take too long for us to kill with our powers. Especially when they're getting stuff like that off. Alright, Mithra just nuked that one to oblivion, so we'll take it. Hopefully it's not going to explode. It sounds like it's going to explode. Let's kill the other one next. Is Hugo still out? No. Probably get the break on this guy. Oh, they got the toppled lush. Right, well there's the robots. So what do we want to start with here? I need your help here Jin. Good. A little bit of Jin and Laura of power. Oh, I didn't even press B at all. What are the chances? It seems that we're doing tons of damage to Manos. But something tells me this isn't even his final form. Oh, not Manado Buster. I think Hugo just straight dodged. Wow, he went down like a punk. But we are powerful after all. Do you really care for this world that much? Adam, the gargoyles. I see them, but... Yeah. Ah. What's wrong? Is that all you got? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got plenty. I think it's time to smash your toys. Huh? Oh, beyond! <gasps> you know, preparation is everything.
got something to say? Huh. Why the damn bloodlust? I've told you before! The humans built the bonfire. All I did was help them light it! Enough sophistry. Oh, yeah? Are you a blade or not? You know it as well as I do. What humans are really like. <sighs> you think they're all like your precious driver? No! Summon Siren. Then let me add to the mix, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're battling with them in the background? They won't know what hit them. Huh? In this battle, the party gauge is replaced by the siren gauge, which you can charge by scoring hits against Malos. What the hell? Okay. When all three sections of the gauge are charged, press plus to make siren use an artifice art. Artifice arts will not only deal damage to Malos' siren, they'll also boost your team's attack power. Similarly, Melas also has a siren gauge he will charge. <laughs> when the gauge is full, he will attack Mithra's siren with artifice arts and get a boost to his own attack. The artifice arts get stronger the more they are used, so the key to prevailing is to try and reach the higher level artifice arts before Malos does. So most attacks you can get. Furthermore, you won't be able to use chain attacks while the siren gauge is displayed, so plan accordingly. Not that we've been able to use one. We just beat him down straight away last time. Oh, <laughs> blow down will help. So technically, if it's the party gauge, we have attachments equipped to kind of boost ourselves on this front. And I'm guessing if we get breaks with topples to prevent him attacking, we can definitely charge way faster than he can. Oh wow, we just stuck him on topple for like 10 million years as well. Well, Malos is now locked on his gauge due to us using an artificer, so he's been really disabled. Now the problem is, do I actually need to worry about him as a threat too, or not? But as long as we keep getting topples and stuff, he'll never get his stuff used. Hey, Smash! Yeah! Right! Whoa! Thank you for the sub, Tom. Tom. Well, let's get Dead of Winter going. Haze is full of fury. This is a spectacle! Essentially, the way to make this battle easy is to have this scope. Like, no joke. Look at the damage we're just getting on him here. And as soon as you topple him, you're done. Well, we just know that Siren's superior. Whoa! That bl what the hell just happened, man? <laughs> What's going on above us? Oh, 
Well, I'd love to get Mega Eruption, but whatever he's doing is actually hurting a bit now. So that's a bit problematic. Yeah, Manala Cyclone will hurt a bit. I'd love to get Mega Eruption. And he took my heal, the kit. Use yours, Mithra. Alright, get the break, please. Now he's resisting now a bit more. But we still did a ton of damage. I can't chain attack anyway, so orb types don't matter. Gonna knock us back this way, are you? Nice send Siren again. There's music going on in the background, but there's just too much going on. Is he gonna land here again? I don't even know what's going on anymore, but Malos is not appreciating thing anymore. We got our topple though, which means I can finally get the heal on everyone. The party gauge is back. It is. We kind of need it at this point. Okay, what orbs do we have? Probably all the orbs, but at the moment we need darkness on, I think. So as soon as we get this in, let's finish this. There's some stuff going in the background. No, you still know it's too crazy. Haze. Let's finish off Malos with the most power that we can muster. Who do we go with? We go with Minoff. Quasis Blade on Quasis Blade. I am as relentless as the tough Bridget. You shall burn. Life is good. My lady, go on. Burst. How about right. another round Where do we normally go now? We normally go to light, don't we? Mithra, take over. Come on. Excellent. I'll do for me. Don't expect to recover. Let's from go this. for Hugo next. Emperor Hugo. No more if running along. Excellent. This is far Keep from. Keep breaking these orbs bit uh. by bit. This is Jin's turn, isn't it? The break is on Jin, Adam's I turn. I don't think he's got much left in him. All right, break light. Espada. Don't forget me. Uh, what do I want to break though? Do I want to break this turn or on the next turn? Well, no matter what, I'm probably going to hit one that causes. Oh, let's go a Geon. Of course, we're going with Jin this turn. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Malos doesn't stand a chance. Away. I thought that would do enough damage to kill him. How about another right, round this is going to end up as the full chain break, isn't it? Who do you think I am? But no matter what, that's Malos. I am as relentless as the tides. He is them. Go on, Edgeon. And here we go. Shall I finish them? Away. Away. Majesty. Oh, no, 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 no. And Moradain to deal the final blow. How much damage was that? <laughs> we saved our best to last. Yet. That's nine million damage. Come bring it. Good show. But I know you've got more. Let it all out, 
Mithra! Stop holding out on me! Show me what you got, Mithra! Do it! Make me proud!
Don't... Really? Then I'll just have to claim all the destruction for myself! Our nation, our people. My brother, we must flee before we lose the ground beneath our feet. Did you heed me, brother? Jin? Hayes? Where? Adam? Everyone?
You're leaving? Yes. The Royal Spirit Crucible is in Lephtheria. I believe it'll keep this sealed. I see. I have a request for you. I hear that a malicious court has evacuated to Specia. Give them a message from me. Once things are calm, they should come to Leftheria. Okay? Understood. I'll do it. What is that? Caught up with you at last, Laura. How do you know my name? It knows human speech. But it's not a blade. Gort? What happened to you? It hurt. Oh, the pain. It hurt when you cut my bloody arm off. Mm -hmm. Is this my arm? Hey, you have an arm. It still hurts, though. It throbs and it throbs and it just doesn't stop. I can't make sense of this. He's lost his mind. I don't think so. He seems ecstatic. I'll use your blood as a balm for my wounds. How about it? Sound fair? Yes! <sighs> I'll start with you. You torn and blade. I'm paying you back for cutting my arms off, you dog! I'll have me arms back. And I think I deserve some interest too. I'll take your ears and nose as well. But first, I'll get more blood for my medicine. Then it'll be your turn, Laura. It's your meddling that did this to me after all. You and your bitch mother. I knew I should have gotten myself a decent woman. It's your bastard fault. Think you're gonna die quick? Now, I'm gonna enjoy watching you suffer. Uh, I will not let you insult my mother like that. Uh. Hurts to hear the truth, don't it? You think you can pass judgment on my mother? You don't know us! Leave it, Laura. Trying to talk to him is a waste of time. He's right. No more mercy. This creature is beyond help. Jin. Hayes. You're right. I won't waste my mercy on him. But I will end his pain. Excellent! 
I'll have me some prime time entertainment with you, girl. Huck, you're a screamer. Laura. Well, so much to talk about already, and the game keeps throwing more at me. I've been able to talk for ages. But now we're stuck with Laura, Jin, and Hayes on the own, on the lonesome. Versus Gort is his name, is it? I only know him as Blue Fist, but that was instant recognition. What the hell is going on? I thought we were done. But of course, why would we necessarily be done there? Like I said before, I guess. What the hell? Well, if I die here, do I have to do Malos again? Let's fight. Hopefully, Gort's a pushover. He's stronger than Malos! Stay with the flow of battle. Uh. Well, Diagroing isn't gonna help me at all anymore. But breaking to topple will be a great idea. The only problem is I can't get to any launch combo or anything like that at this point. So it's weak to light too, so that sucks. I should probably get that potion though. A shrapnel blast? For my what the hell just went in me? I don't think there's anyone I can get a combo out of here. I don't know. So let's just go level three here. And blade switch to start building up some more stuff. Beat down Gort as much as I can. Oh, you're hurting a bit now. We can switch out again, get the topple, and finish this. Well, farewell, Gort. Shameless to the very end. You can rest easy now, Mother. Somebody turned Gort into that horrible thing. Did they mean to kill us? I don't know. But... Malus dying won't necessarily be enough to bring peace to the world. That I am certain of. As long as there are people... There will always be strife, I suppose. Don't say that. Things can change. There's always hope. Don't you think, Jin? Yes, you're right. As long as... Blades and humans... are bonded to each other. Surely... someday... What the hell's going on? 
Well, the credits are rolling, but I don't know whether to speak or not because lots of things are happening in the shadows. Hoisto Malthus is making his play. Oh? Sinking of the ship with a certain something sealed inside it. What a choice that was to make, Adam. I guess if she can't control the power, she's a danger to everything. What the hell? That's their militarization by the look of it then. So what's this place then, exactly? I guess the tree never played a part through it all. In the course of a lifetime, a man will see uncountable meetings and partings. Yet, as your life's candle sputters and dies, whose face is it that rises to greet you? Happy is the man who can sleep in the comfort of the smile he sees then. No, I don't wish for forever. Even just for one moment, it's enough if it's with her. And yet, what is the man to do who has not been afforded that chance? The road stretches on without end. I cannot but walk down it. As long as I keep walking, I can hold out hope that one day, the time may come when I see her smile again. That hope keeps me afloat. You won't come back. This is the road I must walk. Our paths won't cross. But should we, in fact, ever meet again? On that day, So I see it's keeping some scenes to the main game, eh? What a way to seek into it as well. So that was Torn of the Golden Country. And that makes me want to play XE2 again! Damn it! <laughs> well, what a crazy! That was. And uh, the very artistic cinematic credits as well. That ending was a bit of a delza, downer. <laughs> What are my thoughts on Tour of the Golden Country? Was it worth the- mm? Well, technically, of course, I think it's definitely worth buying it with the main game's expansion pass. The standalone kind of thing. Maybe not so much, because you- I can't imagine someone playing this and then going to the main game as well, and then seeing at the end of it, like, the battle system not being as good as the battle system in this. Uh, there aren't- Some people would argue there were spoilers in this game for the main game, but what I would say it as is it's just actually world building information that is given from the main for the main game 
earlier by playing this one before you play the other one. I've heard in some stuff uh, that this game is intended by the developers to be played in between chapter 7 and 8 of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, otherwise known as the plummet into a certain place. So that's when it was going to be supposedly cutscenes and stuff like that to fill out and flesh out a lot of black backstory or playable stuff. I'm not sure. So then go on between seven and eight so it's kind of like an interlude in between it so then it became this later on in development uh when it comes to it like it's obviously it's very xenoblade in the fact that the style of the game is based around cutscenes set well not cutscenes, side quests etc that's just xenoblade anyway which some people won't get along with as i've experienced by playing the xenoblade series and seeing how many people hate it that I'm actually doing side content instead of main content, especially for this game. That just shows me, like, player base-wise, the sample of a player base, how people generally stand on that issue. Xenoblade is a game of side quests. Many, many world-building side quests. And not everyone is up for that kind of play style. Uh, I've also heard that people complained about the, uh... The, uh... How do I put it? Uh, the community kind of gut chapter things where you had to do up to community level two and up to community level four so it forced you to do the side quest which again those complaints show me how badly people don't want to do side content in games which is just weird but then of course that itself will be the audible minority rather than the uh the non-complaining on forums majority I, I didn't mind the side quests. They, they were better side quests than they are in Zelda Blade Chronicles 2 uh, aside from the blade quests which are their own different story I know that the prequel of this game didn't actually have a massive amount of wiggle room to make a lot of story happen. So that is probably why you find this game to be incredibly story light. We knew where the end was going to be. We knew what was going to happen to most of the characters. The one character that I didn't know what was going to happen to, I didn't expect Hugo to die. I did not expect Hugo to go down. Because I thought he was, but considering his, exactly how he looks, either that bloodline is very strong with looks. I thought that that was going to be, you know, his descendant was Neil. <laughs> so therefore Hugo would live to uh, pass on his genus, shall we say. I didn't expect him to go down. He took the heroic sacrifice that ever, ever the tank tanked for his friends, saved them. What a guy, what a guy. Yeah, I know he was mentioned to have a brother, but man, when you got a spitting image like this? Poor Hugo indeed. Poor Hugo. I won't forget Hugo, says the more ordained puns. But yeah, so I, we, we were given a reason for the sealing away of Mithra. We showed, it showed her psychological break to turn her into what she became. The putting away of a certain sword in a certain place as well. The rise of Quaestor Malthus, though we did not play a large part in this game, was in the background. You can see he's just cut throat. Cut throat, that man is. And the beginning of, like, the experimentation for the Flesh Eaters. Well, the other way around, isn't it? Blade Eaters. See, I don't want to say too much here. In case someone watches this and hasn't played XC2. That's one of my main issues with talking about this right now. But again, there was not enough wiggle room for the story that you could have like a massive overarching plot. We knew where the end was going to be. We knew who generally the characters were going to be and, and you know, <laughs> the, the actors in our play. We knew what was going to happen to Malos. We knew that certain people had to go down. They've kept some scenes hidden away as well. Like, they've they've really kept, like, a certain happening right at the end during that credits for the main game. I think it's a good balance. I think it's a very good, like, again, it's the most ambitious JRPG expansion that's happened. It doesn't really have that 40 hours of advertised content, but still. If I wasn't scouting and just did stuff, I'd probably have a lower playtime, but whatever. Oh, yeah. It, it fits. It works well. 
And considering it came with the expansion pass itself with the main game, and the expansion pass itself gave so much extra quests, content, blades, blades with their own stories, blades with crossovers, this and that, challenge mode, and more, and then this as well, the expansion pass was probably the most worth it expansion pants pants the most worth it expansion pass i've seen in gaming thus far so in that sense it does it very 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 right it does add very nicely to the overall xenoblade chronicles 2 experience but now i have a plea especially because they've got update version 1.00 on this monolith soft a new game please i don't even care if you use this engine again the graphical style works the crazy spectacle you have for what was a final boss battle with Siren, and I don't even know the name of Amalfus's robot. What's the name of his robot? Because we never met it. What was his name's robot? But with Siren and Ma Ama <laughs> Amalfus's Malus's robot going on in the background, like that, the kind of stakes are there. Of course, he was going to go down fairly easily at that point. Obviously, the challenge battle for—they're both Sirens, are they? Oh, okay. Obviously, like. The challenge battle for Manos was going to be that earlier one anyway. And the pacing of the game worked out really well as well. And the fact that in the Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you didn't have to, if you did side quests and got bonus experience, you generally out-leveled the game very early. In this game, you can out-level the game if you do every single side quest, but you have to do a large majority of side quests to stay at the right level for the game. So that the balancing of the game worked out well. The combat system was... Someone said in the chat it was easier, but personally for me, it was miles better. Like, it's fast, fluent, you never felt from step one that you really had to wait on anything. You had the blade combos going on as well with the normal specials. Everything there else there was familiar. The addition of the switch system and the usage of the blades, therefore, was really good. And it makes you also wonder, why did they not think of that as the original system? The, I, I can imagine them coming up with a system and thinking, Damn, we really missed putting this out in the main game. Damn. <laughs> This would have worked so well. It's probably one of the best JRPG battle systems for a more slower kind of, I would say, turn-based, even though I know it's not, it's action combat. But the recharge times, it feels like an amalgamation of, you know, your old JRPG turn-based and your, your general action command. Thing like East, etc. now, that kind of really works. It, it really works. And that just smoothed out even more. So they've got all the bones they have now for another epic story where I feel that they could use what we have here and make Chronicles 3 or make Chronicles X2 or make the third uh, whatever iteration that they are speaking about making or that people are thinking about at this point in time where they might go, we're not making Chronicles. We're not making X. We're making, well... They will make like a third trident for the spear, uh, spear, trident, for, prong for the trident would be the right way of saying things. I've heard that they're thinking about doing that kind of thing. So, all in all, well worth my money to pick up that expansion pass. For collectors out there, you got the physical edition, but to be honest, I don't see someone playing XC2 and not playing Torna, and I don't see someone playing Torna and not playing XC2. So. If I were to say pick it up, I would say buy XC2, buy the expansion pass, get it that way, and that's the best way you want it. Oh, let's go to sleep. Am I just messing up things at this point in time? But that was crazy. That was epic. We still got four golden monsters and a community member, you know. So let's save and see if the total screen changes, shall we? Indeed it does. Somewhat expected. I'm waiting because I'm expecting Rex to walk in. Go on, Rex. You don't want to come in from left screen. Rex. Rex, boy. No? Well, now you got the events theater for watching all the crazy back. That final boss battle, by the way, was absolutely amazing and brilliant. I loved every second of it. But I'm guessing if we continue, we start off. From just outside that boss battle. Yep. Did say it would save after all. So able to play that crazy sequence yet again. And Hugo's alive! Everyone's alive. Currently. Currently. I guess that's not going to give me a random tag that says... <laughs> 
So I think I'll leave it there. <laughs> well, there's four more things, so you can expect a little bit more. But the software is closed because an error occurred. So I think that's a crazy way to end things. So there should be at least probably one more episode of which I have to do insane level grinding to do these four golden monsters and get this last community member. So I'll see you for that in the future. One more little jaunt in the world of Torna. I'll see you next time for that. Bye-bye.